eight ways to manipulate someone to like me? This feels raw. It's not. The world's top seducers use all of these strategies naturally. I'm here to provide you with all the psychological tricks you'll ever need to win the girl of your dreams. One, never ask can I questions. It gives them an option to say no every time you ask an open-ended question. Can I have your number? No. Can you go on a date with me? No. Now this is basic sales psychology, but for most people, you have to direct them exactly to where you want them to go. So how do you reword the questions we just went over? Simple. The first one, here, put your number in. The second one, found a new burger spot in the city. We have to go. Pick you up Saturday around seven. Two, you wanna look at them right in the middle of their forehead to bring them down. A lot of times, when you are near a beautiful person, you feel as if they're judging you, you feel awkward. This is a normal response that happens to everyone. Scientifically, when you're near somebody that's beautiful, dopamine levels rise in your brain, which make you feel a little jittery. So you have to change that narrative to put yourself in that higher position mentally, both in her mind and in your mind. And the trick here is, you look at them right in the middle of their eyebrows, right on their forehead. This makes the other person feel as if they're being judged. And now, through something called the Hawthorne effect, because they feel they're being watched and judged, they will try to impress you and improve their behavior. Three, the serial positioning effect. You are too worried about what to say to your crush, but that doesn't matter. Through serial positioning, we as humans only remember the first part and the last part. The middle, it's a blur. So to break that down even further, she's only gonna remember that first impression when she first saw you, and how that conversation ended, what it made her feel. We're gonna manipulate both those ends. Let's start with the first impression. Don't worry too much about your face. She will establish a first impression of you in less than a second, and in that second, she can judge your status, your trustworthiness, and how dominant you are. So the best thing you can manipulate is the clothing that you're wearing on your body, because visually, it's what takes up the most space and what she will use to judge you. So for example, I want you to replace a simple t-shirt that everyone wears with something nicer, with a collar, more structured, like a polo shirt. Notice how it immediately elevates your outfit and makes you look higher status. That's how she's gonna perceive you. This specific polo is a design I've been working on for a few months now. It's for my new essentials collection dropping June 24th and it just has that power to level you up. Now we're gonna manipulate the other side which is making her feel great because that's all she's gonna remember. Now, the best trick that you can do here is offer her a compliment. After a few minutes of an interaction, remember the middle doesn't matter. Offer her a genuine compliment. It be about any Anything. And then immediately after, tell her that you have to go, you have an appointment, and cut it off short. You will leave her at a high point and she will remember that feeling plus that first impression. Look, this is only the first three ways to manipulate somebody to like you. I have five more. This next one, it's mind blowing. You're gonna trick her into saying yes by nodding. Everyone knows that when you nod your head, you are basically agreeing to whatever is being said. You can use this to your advantage while asking for a favor while also nodding your head. This is where it gets interesting. We are biologically wired to mimic the movements of that other person we are talking to. This is something called the chameleon effect. So she will most likely start nodding her head as well and thus agreeing to your ask. And this was proven in a case study called the effects of head movement and persuasion. In this study, they took participants and they made them nod their head as they were listening to a persuasive message. They noticed that those participants that were nodding their head were more convinced of the message versus the participants that were shaking their head. So how do you implement? Well, say there's a complete stranger in the gym, right? You approach her, after she's done with her set, you can say, do you have a second to talk? Right, and you're nodding your head as you're making your ask and your favor, she will most likely agree. Five, and clothed cognition. You can make her think you are her perfect match by making yourself think you're the perfect guy. You will turn yourself and believe that you are the perfect guy using something called enclosed cognition, a scientific field that studies how clothing affects the wearer. To do this properly, you first need to establish what is the ideal man. Simple. They want a man that's physically fit, a man that is high status, and a man that is confident. All three of those can be manipulated using enclosed cognition. Let's start with being fit. Enclosed cognition plays a major role because it's been studied that wearing sports clothes can motivate you to step in the gym and get fit. It doesn't even stop there. They took it a step further and proved that this can also increase your performance because of that motivated mentality that the clothing provided. This is why I recommend buy nice gym clothes that not only fit right, but enhance your best features. I'll give you a great example of this. Right now, I designed a new 
fitness quarter zip and I designed it with a seam on both sides of the waist. This is to create an illusion of a V taper to give you that ideal male physique. Now the last quarter zip I designed for my brand Essentials sold out within like a day or two. This one's better. It's probably gonna go faster. The second thing you can manipulate with clothing is your status. You wanna become high status. In this specific study, they took college students and had them look at images of a male model dressed in formal clothing, like a suit, and then in casual clothing. The students then reported is that the guy that was dressed formally, they perceived to not only earn more money, but had a better job position. And honestly, don't even go out and buy a full suit because it's impractical. Instead, focus on the idea of having tailored pants. A nice pair of tailored pants that are comfortable to wear will give you a similar effect. That was my ultimate goal with designing something that's never been done before. These are from my brand Essentials, also dropping June 24th. And as you can see, it, it has that perfect tailored fit, but I made them with a sweat pant fabric. It feels like a blanket, but it looks high status. And the third one is your confidence. You can also elevate this with clothing. You just have to understand color psychology and understand that certain colors will elicit a certain response in your brain. For example, wearing green, which is the color of nature, is naturally soothing and triggers a, that feel good hormone in your brain that uplifts your mood. It gives you that confidence. That's exactly why I wanted to feature different shades of green in this new essentials collection I designed for summer that's dropping June 24th at 10 a.m. Eastern. And I'm telling you, our collections sell out fast, so the best thing you can do, put a reminder on your phone. When the collection drops, you'll be ready. We are five tricks down. I have three more to go, which in my opinion are the most powerful and most dangerous, which is why I left them towards the end, which takes us to number six. Tell her she probably can't get it done. When you doubt somebody's capabilities, they will try harder to prove you wrong. This is the basis of flirty banter that those guys that always win with girls, that's what they get right all the time and you're probably not implementing. You're essentially tricking the person into trying harder when they're around you. Let me give you three easy examples on how you can implement this. Say she's a traveler. Okay, so you can say something like, I've seen you've traveled a lot. Honestly, I don't think you can handle blank. Insert whatever country you wanna insert. Now she will try to convince you and give you every reason why she can handle that. She is basically selling to you now. Let's say she's a thrill seeker. Okay, you can say, Oh, skydiving was super fun, but you couldn't handle blank, insert whatever. Again, she will start selling herself as to why she could do that with you. Let's say she's athletic. Ooh, running a marathon is tough, but doing an off-road trail, that's a different level. I don't know if you're ready for that one. Same thing. The only goal that you have here is to do it with a smile, do it with a grin, so she knows that it's playful banter. Number seven, get them to say no. Most of the times, you're looking for a yes, and because you get pushy, that other person starts to feel cornered. However, making them say no makes that other person feel safe and in control. So you're gonna trigger that feeling to get exactly what you want. So you're just gonna rephrase questions so they are no oriented and her saying no is basically the yes you were looking for. Let me give you a few examples. You can do these through text or in person. Have you given up on dating? Would you be opposed to grabbing some coffee together? Would it be horrible if we did together? In any of those situations, the likelihood of her saying no are high and her saying no is the yes you wanted. And finally, number eight, manipulate the three things she can never ignore. In a book called Neural Web Designs, it states that we all have three brains. We have our new brain, that is our logical and conscious brain. We have our middle brain that processes emotions, and then we have our old brain. This one just cares about survival. They also call it the reptile brain. This old brain only cares about three things. Can I eat it? Can I have sex with it? And will it kill me? So you will manipulate those three categories so you become someone she can never ignore. Let's start with, can I eat it? the food category. There have been multiple studies that have looked into the notes of fragrances. Two specific notes stand out, vanilla and pumpkin. What they realized were that sweet food notes created a feeling of arousal in the other person. Two, sex. You have to dress in a way where you show off a bit of skin without it being too much. This is why you should always unbutton a few buttons if you're wearing a button down shirt. If you're wearing a jacket, you wanna keep it opened up. And truly why when I designed our new summer shirts for essentials, I kept in mind what are the areas or body parts that are the most sexual on a man and how do we exhibit these without it being too much. I'm telling you, this collection, it's the best we've ever designed and it's dropping June 24th. And if you don't put that reminder on your phone, it's gonna sell out. But finally, number three, danger. Will it kill me? This one's gonna be hard to develop. You have to go to the gym, 
and then learn how to fight. Pick up a martial art because a man that is capable of danger and can control it is an attractive man.